Precision agriculture is obtaining data which are GPS. So it is a spatial understanding of your vineyard where every meter that has been recorded either by soil monitoring or by uh, vineyard aerial monitoring can be traced down to the meter on the ground. I guess there's been a lot of different buzzwords for what precision agriculture means over the years and I think my favourite is the management of variability and that's what we're all about. Here in the King Valley we have up to eight different uh, soil types and on the Pizzini farm we would have at least five or six different soil types and they rapidly change within a small distance. For instance, one of our vineyards, we produce four different styles of Sangiovese just from one particular vineyard because the rows are 500 metres long and it crosses that different soil terrain and soil differences. It's important to gather a lot of data from within the vineyard uh, so that we can actually directly relate that to the quality of the wine. The EM38 servo by its nature is a wonderful tool in almost x-raying the soil to understand the characteristics that soil has. Whether it's the water holding capacity, whether it's where there's a rock coming through or how deep is the actual soil that's available, is water logging an issue, how vigorous is that vine going to be? That information can then be used to uh, identify where new planting should occur to access the high premium grapes. It's also a tool to uh, design your vineyard, how close the rows are, how close the vines are, uh, what sort of uh, irrigation they're going to require. We're using uh, the EM38 soil mapping process to really identify precisely where these uh, magical spots of soils are. It can enable us to say define those areas out that are producing high quality product and then um, treat or harvest separately. The EM38 will measure the amount of clay content in the soil and it'll also directly measure the amount of water in the soil. And so if you can better delineate where those soil type changes are and then ground truth and understand what's driving uh, key variations in, in soil type and the physical and chemical characteristics of those soils, uh, that can then be utilised to begin to define zones and undertake some zonal management. The data that we're collecting, we're doing that with um, based on an ATV with a GPS on it and then with different sensors on the back such as an EM38 and so that data with a sensor on it because it's connected to a GPS we can overlay it with any other data that we happen to have so it's soil data with yield data with topography with satellite imagery anything you like really. The key objectives of the San Giovese project is for us to assess each particular block and then determine the quality of the both the fruit and the wine. We do have very many Sangiovese blocks here We've done four years of Sangiovese work and we found that there's large differences in berry characteristics, in wine characteristics and of course we look at the vineyards. And for us it's really important to figure out is it the soil, is it the vineyard management or is it the aspect, the row orientation, what makes a Sangiovese a really high value Sangiovese. Given margins are so skinny in agriculture generally, uh, you need to be able to identify where you get the best return from your investment. Managing and making good wine really starts in the, the vineyard. So understanding the soil profiles, uh, understanding the soil makeup is extremely important to gain a very good understanding of where we can find the, the highest quality pockets of soil to produce the highest quality wine. EM38 is, is used in many different forms of agriculture, particularly uh, in broadacre and, and other forms of horticulture as well. The amount of variation that we identify with the EM38 is sometimes really surprising even to the growers that know the property really well. Because we're covering it on such a high resolution, we're able to identify really small areas that might have sort of slipped unnoticed in the past. The winemakers on the King Valley are so open for change. This is something that is really appreciable, that whatever makes your wine better, whatever makes your grape better, 
that is what's being adopted. So we have seen a large amount of new practice and I'm confident that precision viticulture will be all over the valley in a matter of a year. And you find that once somebody in an area starts using it and showing responses to it, the, 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 it usually spreads fairly quickly with the neighbours. So it's very important for the viticulturists to understand whatever work they do in the vineyard directly corresponds with the quality in the, in the winery. Love the wine industry, yeah, I guess it's like any industry, it, it, you, the, the work you have to put into is hard and you need to enjoy it.